Hey guys, today I'm going to do another library graphic novel haul. Um, I've been taking my little brother to the library with me lately, so it's been kind of rush trips to the library because he's three and doesn't have the attention span to stay at the library for very long. Um, but he's been enjoying it and getting different books to read, so that's fun. Um, but I've noticed that I've mostly been getting just graphic novels when I go because I read most of the actual like books that I get from the library through the online service on my Kindle. Um, so I've been getting a lot of graphic novels and some of them are interesting, some of them are very strange. Um, so the ones that I got yesterday were, I got four of them. Um, the first one was The Rise of Aurora West. Um, it looks pretty interesting. The back says, uh, Acrop Acropolis is rife with monsters and short on heroes. Luckily, there's a new hero on the rise. Aurora West has her hands full trying to fit in martial arts lessons between chemistry and math classes, helping her father on his missions, and unraveling the mystery surrounding her mother's death. The answer she discovers may be as close as her own childhood memories. If she can only survive the monsters, Sidisto, and his murderous clan long enough to piece it together. It still looks fun. And it has like a, a female protagonist. Yeah, that's the word I wanted. Um, which is kind of what I was looking for because you don't get a lot of females in graphic novels. Um, but I've actually found quite a few at the library, which is exciting. So the next one, I've never pronounced this correctly. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I can. Bayou? Bayou? I don't know. Um, this looks cute. There's some little kids playing and an ogre in the tree. I didn't notice him at first and it confused me when I saw him. Um, the bayou isn't a bad place. Ain't nothing good ever is a bad place. Ain't nothing good ever happened there. South of the Mason-Dixon line lies a strange land of gods and monsters that only Lee Wagstaff is aware of. When a terrifying creature emerges from the swamp and snatches her white playmate, Lee's father is accused of the kidnapping. In order to save her father from being lynched, Lee must rescue her friend from this fantastic and frightening world born of cre centuries of slavery and civil war. Her only guide is the, bl guide is the blues singing swamp monster called Bayou. Together they trek across the hauntingly familiar southern Neverland on a journey that will drastically alter both of their lives. So it looks cute. Um, it looks like it's going to deal a lot about racism and stuff. Um, which is kind of fascinating for a graphic novel. Um, I like the ones that get kind of deeper into real world stuff. Ooh, um, sometimes. Sometimes I just want something that's cute and fun to read. But this one looks like it's going to be really good. Uh, the next one, um, is The Woods, Volume 1, The Arrow. Oh no. It looks cool to people. A mountain. Um, and it says, on October 16th, 2013, 437 students, 52 teachers, and 24 additional staff from Bay Point Prep, 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 from Bay Point Preparatory High School in suburban Milwaukee, Wisconsin, vanished without a trace. Countless light years away, far outside the bounds of uncharted, of the charted universe, 513 people find themselves in the middle of an ancient primordial wilderness. Where are they? Why are they there? The answers will prove stranger than anyone could possibly imagine. It still sounds cool and spacey. Looking forward to reading that. <clears throat> the last one I got is not, I started reading this one, it's How to Be Happy. Um, and it's not really what I expected it to be because I'm maybe a third of the way in. Um, it's good, it's interesting. Um, there have been a lot of stuff about, like, the first one was kind of about Adam and Eve type stuff, and I don't know. Um, the top says, write a story, a story about yourself, a story about your life, now believe it. And then it goes into, this is Eleanor Davis's first collection of observational graphic short stories. Tinged? Tinged? I don't know. Tinged with science fiction and fantasy, these stories are grounded in contemporary life. Middle management goes searching for Eden. Two sisters inside environmental suits say goodbye to their father. People try to fall, fill inner voids with babies and yoga and gluten-free bread. So it's kind of interesting. Um, it's kind of tackling like modern problems in different settings. Um, so yeah, it's cool. 
It's got it's got a sticker that says it's important. Technically, it says it's a New York Times bestseller. Um, but yeah, it was big and pretty, so I checked it out. Um, that was all I got this time. I don't know what I'm saying. I like graphic novels. Bye!